I know you guys are gonna hate me I know you guys are gonna hate me but this is what I feel I am and always will be I'm very 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 stressed stressed out um, then last night I have a, had an episode of my lips swelling up so don't the shit make a nigga wanna don't the shit make a nigga wanna rob a bank my nigga cash room you can still see it's swollen a little bit so today is a no makeup day. Today is a no lipstick day. I'm um, last night, as of last night, I didn't have to go to the salon today. So my thought was, okay, I'm gonna do lift today. I get home. I get a call. Oh, Nuetta, when is my appointment I says I believe it's on Saturday because I already knew I didn't have anyone to do on today which is Friday I said no that must be a mistake I have to do so and so and so and so and so and so so can you do my hair on Friday which is today and I says yes what time do you want to come? Oh, can we do it like 12, 1230? Okay. We hang up. I get a call back. Maybe um, guesstimating about 10 minutes later. Um, I forgot I have to do so and so and so and so. And I got to take this person here and take this person, pick this person up. Can I come in at two? Okay, that's fine. We hang up. I get a call back, guesstimation, maybe 20 minutes. Can we just do my hair in the morning? Yes. Can we do my hair in the morning? Sure. What time you want to come? 10 o'clock. Okay. Now, what I didn't tell you is every night when I check in to work, um, I call my client's sister to let her know that everything is fine somewhere is between 8 and 8 30. she tells me when i'm checking in this is absolutely a different person this is his sister and oh i thought i need to get some gas sorry y'all so she she oh wow 317 awesome so she tells me, oh, can, can you groom up Alan, my client? This is 8 o'clock at night. Oh, we having a family reunion tomorrow evening. Um, hello, you knew about this family reunion for uh, at forever? At least six months. Usually people plan it a year in advance, the reunions. Okay, so um you want me to groom him in the morning yes i have time because I, I i'm thinking i don't have to go to work so i totally forget that 12 12 30 is fine that'll give me time to cut his hair and get there 12 12 30. then i have to um 
come in at two she changed it to two that's giving me plenty of time to do his hair and come there then she changed it to 10 and I totally forgot so now I have to call his sister this morning which she waited to the last minute to tell me to groom him so I have to tell her this morning that I don't have time I have to go to work and I'll do this client and then I will come back and I'll groom him what time are you coming okay she's going like oh um wait a minute I'm sleep repeat all that all over again I was just like cut it real short I'm like can I cut his hair and cut his nails and groom him when I come back from my client and she says yeah now she has not even talked to her brother about this reunion so now oh can I talk to him uh, I'm on my cell phone um, you want to call the house or I'll call you from the house so you can talk to him because he talked better from that that phone so all this so during the night then my lips swell up I mean I was just like drained and I fell asleep and I was uploading a video um, I, I, I was actually uploading a second video and um, I kind of dozed off and when I woke up well I felt my lips starting to swell on the inside of my mouth Ooh. and um, is I mean it was fat it was tight um, it went down a whole lot but yeah so right now I'm at the gas station so I'm gonna get some gas and I'll be right back with you guys okay my newsies I got my gas and now not only that is my lip is swollen it also it hurt so I don't know what I had an allergic reaction to because I absolutely had I ate on my way home and it's something I usually eat and that was the only meal I had yesterday and um, and and that was on the way home and I ate some rice cakes when I got home so I, these are rice cakes I always eat and um, I've been eating them for a long time so I don't know what brought on that um, reaction oh gosh I should have took a picture of it while it was really really fat but yeah there we go <sighs> I know you guys are gonna hate me I know you guys are gonna hate me I know you guys are gonna hate me but this is what I feel as of yesterday which was August 2nd yesterday I finally spoke it into existence that I have Stop trying to lose weight. I've spoken into existence because I'm tired. I'm tired. I I just my goal is to keep my weight the way it is. Maybe tone up some, but I have no weight issues no more. I am a voluptuous. Ooh, wait, I'm pooping out all my gas. I am and always will be a voluptuous woman. I am 245 pounds and that's what it's going to be. Um, when I get to a point where I can't balance things out, like right now I'm so focused on working on my mouth that I've always been that way. It's like I can't balance too many things together is like 
I'm really trying to work on getting videos up um, like at least five days a week um, and I just can't when I got too many things I just can't balance it and I just gotta let some things go so in a way that was a stress reliever because y'all just don't know uh, I'm always on this fight and now at age 55 my fight is only gonna be to maintain as healthy as I can be to maintain as healthy as my knowledge is um, and keeping myself healthy the things that I know I'm, I, I will never ever be able to please everyone so I'm sorry if you think that I call this my journey a fail but I'm still and always will be on a journey to stay as healthy as I can to stay at this weight and not worry about saying oh I want to lose 80 pounds I want to lose 45 pounds I want to lose 100 pounds if I just stay eating healthy eventually things will change but I'm not rushing into it I'm no spring chicken and I can't do like I did years ago lose five pounds overnight I just can't do that I am too mature my body is too mature to respond in that way um, so I'm not giving up I just want y'all to know that um, like I said my uh, most important thing right now is my mouth and I'm, of course I have other things but this is a really main priority that has been neglected for years and I just can't do it anymore and if I have to drop stressing on something else to accomplish something else then that is what I have to do because when I have too much on the table things get off balance and I just can't do it so anywho <laughs> so um If y'all have seen the uh, baby shower, I did edit a lot of it out because it showed the back of my hair and I seen how thin around the edges. I mean, and sometimes they get bald. They have been bald before and I just can't handle too much stress and um, hopefully, well once I get the alopecia, it once I get the spots it's already I already relieved myself of, of, of stress but um, I've been relieving stress um, since last October so I'm not saying I I mean I'm always gonna everybody have stress I'm not gonna say I have more stress than so-and-so but if it's too much stress that I can't handle, I gotta let things, I gotta let some things go. And me trying to say I'm gonna lose two pounds every week or 45 pounds um, this before the year is out. Uh, first of all, my heel spur is, is giving me hell. So that is the next priority. In order for me to do working out, I'm gonna have to uh, check on his heels first and see what's going on, what I can do. Because it is hindering me from my exercise. So my, my, will I still exercise? Yes, I will still exercise. Right now I'm in, um, kinda not. <laughs> because, 
when I do exercise, I'm in excruciating pain with the heel, and it hurts almost all day long, and during the night sometimes, and sometimes the ache is so bad, uh, and I can take a lot of pain, I find myself moaning, <laughs> and, and the, the ache, just the it's like a dull ache and then every now and then it's a sharp pain but yeah so oh. well I guess I'll tell y'all what today's date is today is August 3rd and it's 916 and it's 84 degrees right now. I have to be at work at 10 o'clock. I left out a little early so I can get that gas. Or get some gas for the car. To, today, I'm thinking after I get back and I cut my client's hair and groom his beard and cut his eyebrows, cut the hair out of his ears, cut the hair out of his nose. Y'all know where I'm going with this. And cut his nails. <laughs> um, I'm really thinking um, I want to uh, go um, do some lift. Um, I haven't been doing lift and I'm about to lose my silver status, which is not very much. So this morning, I did not eat anything because I ain't hungry. I got my coffee. I have not sipped it. I have my water. I took my medication. There's a, a customer I have and she had that same thing I have, that lip swell. She's thinking it's the medication and we take the same medication because usually they have any side effects to a medicine. <laughs> I am the one to get them and I can give them some new ones and you know you come home and you're trying to wind down and I do not turn my phone off because I that's my only communication so I need to know if anything's going on with my family but know you try to get home from work and you just want to wind down yeah. is this crazy they just don't think if I, I sometimes I have clients that call me 10 11 o'clock or text me and if it's at that time of course I'm gonna jump out of the bed to see if it's my family, if it's something wrong, clients need to understand and I don't understand why. Some just don't think of, just because you're up don't mean everybody's up. I had one call me around eight o'clock and she said like, oh, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm about to get ready to go to bed, but people just don't understand. I may not go to the salon until 10 or 11. But when I wake up at 5, 5.30, I'm up working because I have a client that I'm working for. So I need to go to bed. As like this morning, um, I actually didn't get up till 6.30. But in that morning, I had mopped his bathroom floor, uh, wiped his toilet down. I had um, dust the living room dust mop the living room floor I made his breakfast um, he had oatmeal eggs toast his coffee juice and water his pills there and his apple so applesauce on the side so people don't understand and then I have to get myself together and a lot of times when I get up at 5 and 5 30 in the morning is because I'm going to take my shower because um, I don't want him to get up and turn get I need to get up and do take my shower before he get up 
and go into his bathroom because I was in that th I was in the shower one time and he was in the bathroom. He cut that I didn't know he got up, but he cut that water on in the bathroom, his bathroom. I like to scream that water got so hot. I'm like never again, never again. So he usually get up around between 6.30 and 7. So. so he's usually in his room about 12 hours. He's in there about 6.30, 7 o'clock at night until 6.30, 7 o'clock in the, in the morning. He'll come out. But. And then when I sleep in, I won't get up until 7. And that's like on Sunday. And Sunday, remember, I'm not working on Sunday, but I still... I have to get up and I gotta fix his breakfast. I gotta make sure he has lunch and he has his his dinner. So even though I'm off on Sunday, but I do start in at six o'clock is my time to, to actually start working for that night. But um, it's my exit. So it is the reason that I need to go to bed early if I'm going to be productive for him and then go into the salon. Now, it, some days that I may not have to uh, go to the salon, I may not get up till 7. But anyway, if y'all want to just hear me ramble, ramble, ramble. You keep on looking out for me. All right, I have to get my praise in. <laughs> yes. And I'm sorry, the traffic was so good, it was nothing to even show y'all. But anyway, um, one more thing before I end this vlog. Just because I yawn in my videos don't mean because I'm bored of myself. And if I am so bored to you, just go ahead and just don't watch my channel don't even watch it and stop giving me thumbs down because um, I don't understand the person that keep giving me thumbs down I just don't understand why you keep coming to look why are you wasting your time <laughs> but anyway to my little newsies, you know I love you. You know I do. And if I could say I love you, you can definitely love yourself. Bye.